Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, y'all. I'm Bree from Royals Poly Life. I'm Marley from Royals Poly Life. I'm Monique, the CEO of Be Unique Boutique. I am Warhair St. Clair and also the CEO of Suit Collection. Period. Got y'all here today. This to is part two. You ready for part two? You ready for part two? I Ooh, think I am ready, but this is going to be kind of juicy, y'all. So I don't know if we even know. We had <laughs> to get rid of the uh, cane. Hey, <laughs> this is going to get a little juicy and hot, Ooh, y'all. This is a hot sermon. This might get a little intense. So hot. I'm ready for whatever. Okay. So what you got today, baby? I got... First of all, I want to thank both of y'all, Monique. Again, I want to thank you, Brandon. You know you you that's your chair. You mm-hmm. feel me? So, um, I want to thank y'all. I want to give y'all y'all crown. Next time y'all do come, I will physically give y'all y'all crown. You feel what I'm saying? Because for us coming to Vegas, y'all didn't have to take us under y'all wing the way y'all did. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys really took us under y'all wing, give us ideas. You step, he stepped up as management. You do your thing when it comes to what you think the Royals should do. And we just want to say thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. Even when I'm being a B-I-T-C-H to you, you know, we have that bond, brother, sister bond. You feel what I'm saying? Even when I'm a B to her, even when I get, you know, y'all there for us. And we appreciate that. We really do appreciate that. I want yes. to say that. Right no here. Problem. I want to say. I haven't saw that side of Marley yet, y'all. It's but, there. We, but I'm pretty sure. Brenda, it's there. have you seen that side? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> she be sweet to me. <laughs> I am sweet. It's just me and Brandon. It's like, you know, Brandon taught me a lot. I'm not even finna front. Like, I was the one to hold on and harvest my feelings. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And he gave me that no, let that out. You mm-hmm. gotta let that out mm-hmm. for you to feel better. So I let it out all to him. You know what I'm saying? Like I let it out. Like oh, you, Brandon, since I'm you fin- gave me permission. Yeah, let me. Let me you gonna <laughs> yeah. be the one to so feel he, it. So <laughs> he he takes and we take each other. Like he said, you you're not a real friend if you can't have that uncomfortable conversation with your friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I appreciate y'all, and I really have very much, very very uncomfortable conversations with him. And he deal with my BS, and you know. I appreciate that. And as of <laughs> lately, I've been having uncomfortable conversations with y'all as we're building our relationship. Exactly. Um, That's a real friendship. I can have an uncomfortable conversation with y'all and really have an uncomfortable conversation and not think about it when I go home and go to sleep. Right. Unlike other people, I'm going to be like, damn, should I have said that? Like, like damn, yeah. you run your mouth too yeah. much. Yeah, like, no, I, I don't. <laughs> when I have an uncomfortable conversation, I never think about it twice with y'all. So yeah. I appreciate that. So, we're going to talk about love. That's the Ooh. first thing we're going to get in right now. Mm. So, as you guys all know, <clears throat> well, Brandon knows because Brandon's been there, you know, through our journey. The Royals was going through a rocky situation, a very rocky situation to where this is probably the second time you guys heard me speak about it. But it was either it was or either it wasn't and either it was gone or either it was out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, we got back together and <clears throat> we got our stuff together. That's why we took that little two month break from you guys. But we are back now, and um, back and better. Better. When I say our love life is more better, understanding communication, um, a lot of things have changed since the separation from yeah. the Royals. So it's a lot of things that I've learned along the way that you have to do in a relationship that I didn't know being in a relationship for 15 years. Mm -hmm. It's things that I can't hold in things when I'm going through something. I have to let that out and let them know how I feel. Yeah. Because if I'm just mad and walking around with an attitude and you not knowing how I feel, that go to confrontation. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. I feel like I've learned a lot of things. I don't want to hold nothing in. I don't care if I feel some type of way mm. about somebody. Grandma. And when they you have that it. connection with someone who allows you to express yourself freely, that is that that's the beginning stage of love. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you got to learn to recognize the signs ahead of time. Like I don't want to be with anyone who I don't I don't feel safe with. I gotta mm-hmm. feel like I gotta everything that I feel I gotta let it build up because if I if I express it to you, it's gonna be a fight between us. Mm-hmm. And and it's okay to 
uh, agree to disagree. disagree. Yep. However, it's about understanding and coming to a solution at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And when you truly love someone, that's what it's all about. You're going to you're going to say, "You know what? I never thought to look at it that way, but mm-hmm. that way d- definitely exists." Yeah. And you're right, I was wrong. I forgive you. I'm, I hope that you can forgive me for even thinking that way. You know, there's no other way outside of that to just feel. And I'm really I just love, love y'all. I yeah. Can, I can't wait to get into this interview. I'm super yes. excited. I'm, I'm serious. So, um, okay. So, um, do you rather um, arguing with your man or makeup sex? Oh, makeup sex is the best. Oh, it's the best. That is the best. Look at her. She could mm-hmm. wait. Just, yeah. Matter of fact, I might start an argument just. To have makeup sex, makeup sex just hit different. That's like, toxic. To- go, you be <laughs> it. No, no, it depends <laughs> on the person that you're with. Because it depends on the person that you're with. It can be toxic, but it can be. You know what, baby? Cute, I cute. love you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It can be cute. We what? What were we arguing about again? It yeah. doesn't even matter. Seriously, I mean, if it was a petty argument, then I can understand. But but what's petty what's in an petty, argument? Like dishes. You know, oh, something petty, not but nothing like financial. I life know people or be, who like... will go overboard to argue, um, just to have something to do, like overboard, like accusing somebody of having sex with somebody else, like you know, creating problems that aren't there just because of the excitement. Mm-hmm. That I want to ask mean, y'all really quick, quick. Ben, sorry to interrupt, Brandon. You're fine. But being in a poly, what is a deal breaker for y'all? Like in in relation relationships. Shit, Mon- Monique, we done been through everything. So I feel like a deal breaker to me will be having relations with my sisters, my family, my mom, or something like that. That's what's gonna have me like, cause you know, like I believe in. You love this person, this person, you give this person a chance. I feel like people don't know of what they do sometimes. I feel like people really have mental illnesses, like seriously, and people overlook that. So people really don't know what what not they do. You know what I'm saying? So I have a big tolerance level when it comes to forgiveness. Mm-hmm. My tolerance level, look at him like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So, <laughs> my tolerance level for forgiveness is great. Mm-hmm. But the thing, the deal breaker for me is, um, it's different with, with each mate. Because royal, royal is royal. He's royal, <laughs> like, and Brie is Brie. So it's like Brie has more sentiment, like, she's more sentimental. She's like more, she's, you can be more soft with Brie than yeah, you can. Yeah, like, royal is, <laughs> he's hard up. You feel mm-hmm, me? So it's mm-hmm. always, I gotta be submissive. I don't gotta be submissive, but I And as a to woman, we need that safe place. We need to feel vulnerable we need to feel like you know what i can vent to you about anything you're not going to judge me you're not going to get irritated and say oh you always in your feelings i'm a woman i i need to be in my feelings from time to time Mm -hmm. and i need you as my man to reassure me that guess what it's gonna be Mm. okay Mm. Mm -hmm. at the end of the day though monique i ain't no man but being in your feelings a lot that's overwhelming for a person you feel what i'm saying a lot yes so especially when you business orientated you got kids you got stuff that you working on you got stuff that you're doing and just soaking in your feelings on everything that happened that's a lot it is you gotta fix those problems though you Mm -hmm. can't just sweep it under the rug because even 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 though it's a lot you gotta deal with it and and guess what Mm -hmm. i can't hold it in just because you think that it's a lot it's what Mm -hmm. you my partner we in a partnership Mm -hmm. you are you gonna be able to tell me baby listen you don't got to worry about that. You don't, it's okay. Like, 
reassurance means more than anything else. Even just your words saying, you know what? You're not alone in this. You don't have to think about that. But just feeling like you got to carry the world on your shoulders by yourself. That's a whole lot. Even if I don't expect anything in return, but I just want to I just want to release. I want to vent to somebody and, and it's because, safe and I feel safe with you without you judging me. Mm-hmm. And because all those things is on your shoulders when it comes down to your partner's situation, it's like go ahead and brush that off real quick. We got to keep it pushing. We got to keep it going. You can't do that because you don't know how damaging Deep, you're hurting yeah. that person. And then when that person falls off or has that crippled leg and messed up, you like, oh, shoot, how did I let it get like this? Yeah, because you yeah. dropped the ball somewhere without, um, because I always say on top of communication, the most important part is actually comprehension mm-hmm. and understanding. You have to Ooh. understand what somebody is going through. You can't just you know, sweep something off because you feel like it's not as important. As important. Ooh, you know you what I mean? You have to understand them. Because you Even, fix all the things in, right. in your th- in your corner mm-hmm. to keep yourself going. You can't, you have to exactly. make sure your and other you, corners is going. Mm-hmm. You got to know at the end of the day, guess what? Sometimes it is a season when it's just truly you. But mm-hmm. you got to know when it's a season where, guess what? It's not all about me. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm placed... I'm placed here to help somebody else come out the cave. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 placed here to help somebody else come out the valley. Guess what? Let me put my feelings to the side because it's really not as bad as what they're going through. Let me even give mm-hmm. them a word. Just a word right, alone right. will, mm-hmm. will can change somebody's life. Yes. Yeah. It's power in the word. It's power in you speaking life over someone. Seriously. Mm-hmm. It really is. So people got to know that everything is not about them. And then also I do feel like um, especially in relationships, friendships, you know, sometimes you have you have to be the person that you wanted. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I thought I realized that you, like getting you into relationships, that. like I wanted to fix myself to become the person that I thought I needed. Even with, you know, y'all know that I do foster mm-hmm. care and I try to put myself in a position to be who I needed when I was that age. You feel me? So um I feel like that's another way to look at being in a relationship you have to if you want something from your partner or whoever it is you have to be that too you gotta be that you too have to be that. i can't expect my man to pay all of my bills and i can't even pay all of my bills huh? what? Talk your like let, let, let's talk about that because there's so many women like oh if he don't pay bills if he don't do that you we can't just even do that for yourself. That. You mm. can't even do it for yourself. Yeah. You cannot How do, do you it. expect him to do it? Requiring too much. Yeah. And don't have nothing. And then to nothing to give standard. in return. Yeah. Because then she want her me, hair me, done, her nails listen. done, her car no payment, all of that. No. Because sex is not enough, sweetheart. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Listen, the bill. listen <laughs> it's good for a moment. <laughs> it's good for what it's good for. But guess what? After that, what else can you do for me? Mm-hmm. Can you feed my soul? Mm-hmm. Can you, guess what? Can you pour into me? Can you pour into me? The preacher mm-hmm. said earlier today, can I talk to you about the things that happened to me as a child when I was unable to defend myself? Huh. And, I, and I, don't, I can't I hold it in I can't talk yes. to nobody else about that mm-hmm. but you mm-hmm. can I talk to you about that and my secrets are safe with you mm-hmm. can I talk to you about the pain my mom caused me as a mm-hmm. little kid the trauma. and it, it, it's why I, I have bad relationships with, with women right. can I talk to you about those things you got you got to bring more to the table than some huh. good sex now I also yeah. feel like yeah. that part that she just said the trauma before you even get into a relationship that is imperative to talk about before you get into a relationship because then you don't know how somebody was raised what they say were they ra- raised off of survival or were they raised off of what is it survival love. or love love when somebody is raised off a of survival, survival it's a whole it's you, a whole different for real. it is, it is so real. hard to love people y'all who, talk y'all ish today that's what I want it to is hear. so hard to love people who are raised off survival and talk it, to me. like it, it it's hard, but you feel bad because it's not their fault. They they were in survival mode. They mm-hmm. did what they knew to do to survive mm-hmm. in that moment. Mm-hmm. Where else you come from a family who truly love you, home cooked meals. Mm-hmm. Anybody that's your friend became family. You can come and we going to feed you. But when you mm-hmm. in survival mode, guess what? I'm going to school just so I can eat today. Just so I can eat. Seriously. Like you don't... you. And people need to understand when you are truly loving somebody, that's what loving unconditionally is truly yes, about. Is. Yes. Guess what? I love you no matter what you went through. I'm going to go through this with you. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and even in that, you will find yourself 
when it gets to the point where you find yourself battling their demons, you got to back off. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, somebody, people have to be willing to fix themselves. It has mm-hmm. absolutely nothing to do Can't with you. Change nobody. You can do everything in your power to try to make this person become a better person. But if they don't fix what's within them, it's nothing you can do to make them change who they are for you. Mm-hmm. They got to be willing to fix that on their own. Right. And, mm-hmm. and the moment that you see that they're not, and it's going to be a repeated cycle, you got to back off. You have to... You got to take yourself out of this situation and you got to let them just say, you know what, God, I love this person enough to, to to know that, guess what? The pain that they're causing me is not worth. This not the life that you have for me. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't I can't fight their battles for them. Mm-hmm. This is all you and them. This season is for you and them. It has absolutely nothing to do with me. It becomes a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle choice. Once you you struggling, you struggling, you you know, going through all this stuff, mm-hmm. like you are choosing to just take it. You're choosing to dwell Deal with in that, that life. just like Marley said earlier. Ooh, especially when you love hard. I love hard. Hard. When I love you, I love you. Mm-hmm. I love you. It's nothing nobody can do to change that but, but you. you. Mm-hmm. So you just got to get to a point where we talked about it on the podcast today. When when do you know it's time to let go? When how how know? long how long are you with the person before there's no results for you to say, you know what? I've been in this way too long. It's costing me my peace. The pain is unbearable. I, I I never experienced this pain, but I love this person so much. It's just like the teddy bear. And I have a um, I actually got this vision. I'm gonna make this quick so y'all can get on to the next question. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I have a uh a, a um manifestation journal that I'm dropping and it's a young girl when, when when you see the journal you're gonna feel you're gonna feel what you feel in that moment I don't want it to be just about me and when you right. look at the picture I want you to feel what you feel when you look at that picture mm-hmm. and when you look at the picture for me it's a young girl she got this key right and then it's God in front of her he's holding the world behind him and pretty much God is saying, guess what? Yeah, you have the keys to open a door that you think you have access to. But if you give me that key, it's way more on the other side. Mm-hmm. And because we're so comfortable and where we're comfortable in, we refuse to let go. And that's why we stay in bondage. That's why we stay in poverty. That's why we stay in situations that expire a it long time like ago. It can't change. Yeah. You, you got to let go and you got to let God. You got to let him really have full control. Whoever your higher power is, I'm going to. I always say that when I'm on this talk show with y'all because I know that people believe in what they believe in and I never try to push anything off on anyone. But you got to believe in what you believe in and you got to know that it's season to everything in life. And sometimes you got to know when a person's season has ex- expired and it's time for you to move forward. Yeah. It's a feeling. It's nothing. It's nothing no one have to tell you. When you a smart mm-hmm. person, use your mind, you know, follow your heart. Mm-hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> I have another question. Um, I want to know from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, right? How do you feel our disciplinary is different from then to now? This is a good one. Mm. You want to go first or you want me to go first? You can go first. Okay. Well, we are in 2022. It's well, a disciplinary for our children? For, yeah, people. Oh. Like, like. For children, people like us growing up. Us growing up. It's just, mm-hmm. it's different. It's totally different from back in the day. Like, like honestly, the love my grandmother gave me, I've never experienced that love, mm. even after she passed away. Now, this not to take away from my mom. My mom loved me. My grandmother mm. loved me. That was my boo. That's what we called each other. Like, and I truly understand those pictures when it's like, dang, kids from 2022 would never experience this type of grandmother because mm-hmm. the type of grandmother in 2022, it's just different. It hits different. And the type of love that You want to know what's crazy, Monique? That mm-hmm. was my next ca- question. Grandparents now and then. Ooh. That's crazy. I mean, you might you, as well listen, it you, together. You, you got to. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. And this is no shade towards any grandmother. Again, times have truly changed. And you got to be able to keep up. Times is going to continue mm-hmm. to change. And it's nobody's fault whatsoever. However, my grandmother, like, I, I've never experienced another woman like her. She will always live within me. She will always be embedded in, deep in my spirit. Like, I am the woman who I am because of her and my mom. And I thank God for it because... 
if I didn't get to experience that, like, the type of love she gave me back then versus now in, t- in today's society. But, but let me tell you why you got that love back then because your grandmother wasn't your friend back then. These grandmothers is they friends, friends. right now. They, they kids, they, they friends. Kid, yeah, they, 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 they allow friends. things. I could never go in my grandma's house smoking and drinking. Nowadays, never. these kids are smoking yeah. and drinking with their grandma. With their grandmother. Their no, like for real. Yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> So you got to understand the love that we got from our grandmothers was unconditional because they wasn't finna be our friends. Mm-hmm. Unconditional. Yeah. Come no. in, listen, my grandmother, my last year, I had my son when I was, uh, I had him, I was pregnant when I was 15 and I had him when I was 16. My grandmother, I lived with her in the projects and I walked to school at an alternative school. That was the only way I could graduate on time. And my grandmother, every single morning, cooked breakfast. Listen, come and eat this breakfast before it get cold. No, you're not putting nothing in the microwave. Mm. You're going to get up early and start your day. You're going to be intentional about your day. Mm. Don't wake up at the last minute because now you got to be rushed for the rest of your day. Mm. Nothing makes sense now. My grandmother will always tell me, make your bed up before you leave or else or else you take the devil with you. Like, Ooh. she was that type yeah. of grandmother. Ooh. You know, and and, 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 yeah. even, <laughs> and even with my grandmother, I'm, I I I'm, I have my story that I'm gonna share eventually, but just a little glimpse of it. Like my mom was a young mother. Can you imagine already having four kids? Not even by I don't know how old my mom was, but my mom had me when she was in prison. And this is my mom is a great mother. This is not to discredit her anyway. I always ask her for permission for talking about anything. And she's okay because this is a part of our story. And it made me who I am today. This is about breaking the barriers. This is about coming out of breaking, breaking a cycle and coming out of the cave. My mom had me when she was in prison. My mom was going to give me away. My grandmother came to save me. I was her baby. That was who had raised me. That's why I have such a old, old soul. soul. Mm-hmm. I and think all of us have an old soul because mm-hmm. we were more raised by our grandparents. Like well, definitely. I wasn't, but mm-hmm. my shit, it was the old soul. <laughs> 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 but. Listen, that old soul just hits different. And, it does. and I say, you know what, yes. God, I thank you for my grandmother because I wouldn't know my family. It's no telling where I would be. I could have went through the things that most people go through, molestation, um, just abandonment. Like, Love. even though my mom was mm-hmm. going to give me away, my grandma came and saved me. I still knew who my family was. I still grew up with them. So I didn't have to experience. I could have been, I could have been. I'm a, I'm a statistic still, but guess what? I'm, I'm breaking this chain. This right. is what breaking the chain is all about. Mm-hmm. You know, just knowing that, guess what? I am not my past. I am my future. And I because I see the future and I'm going to work towards it every day because God has the final say so and he gave me the vision. Nobody can take that away from me. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the, um, you know, discipline has changed a lot because you're, you aren't allowed to uh, discipline your kids like, you know, how people did back, back in the day. Um, I, I, um, Think what else? I feel like discipline back in the nineties and the eighties and so on and so forth. It was abuse. I you I think? feel like it was abuse. Look, if we it both sit back. I like, think what? it was. It, it helped with more discipline than anything. But I'm sorry to interrupt because this is your opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it was the abuse. I'm not saying that. Like disciplining your kid is one thing, but beating your kid is something completely different i don't feel like people need to be beaten by extension cords oh, hell or no. i you never know, got right? that but yeah um all types of stuff switches right. and belts and you know what i mean i do and i do feel like um some kids sometimes do need more aggression mm-hmm. but some kids you can talk to them you can keep talking to them because i feel like a lot of black people back in the day they didn't really understand what a child was going through. Mm-hmm. They felt like a kid didn't have nothing to go through. And, and you do. And that's why now 
us being grown, like I was telling my brother the other day, I was saying like, we don't have communication because we was always told to shut, shut up, up, stay mm-hmm. in a child's place. place. Don't sp- don't mouth. speak. Yeah, don't speak your opinion. Uh, you're a kid. I'm an adult. Mm-hmm. Stay in your lane. Like That's every, unfair. Yeah, that, that, that is abuse. That's, is. Abuse. That's, That's abuse. That's abuse. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. I don't even care. I can show you a video in my phone where my son came in there and said, baby, my, um, my, my sister pissed on herself. Mm-hmm. And he's not known Knowing piss is a cuss word, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying? He's free to say what he can he say, so he just says it. I don't want them to be secluded from nothing. I'm the same way. I want them I'm to okay express how expressing. they feel. Yeah. Because guess what? I want you with the same thing you say with your friends, I want you to be comfortable enough to so, sit around me. Exactly. Yeah. Because what 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 is happening in today's society is Parents are so against everything that's normal to life. Whether we like it or not, it's it's our it's normal. Mm-hmm. And kids need to feel secure. If you are a parent or someone and you don't make that child feel secure, my son is comfortable to talk to me about anything. <laughs> yeah, that's how mm-hmm. I want my kids. Anything. And that's how it should be. And what- see, I don't feel comfortable with talking to my parents about anything. We weren't able to have those uncomfortable mm-hmm. uncomfortable yeah. conversations. And that's how I started doing it in my adulthood. But you have to change was... the cycle somewhere mm-hmm. with your own children. Exactly. I wasn't able to go and say, oh, I, this is how I feel. And I feel like you're wrong because parents think they right all the time. And you're you not. You're not right. right. Mm-hmm. And even when they do go off, parents... Again, it was a video I saw on TikTok. It said, this is how black parents apologize. apologize. Hey, you want to go get something to eat from McDonald's? <laughs> Ma'am, tell me that you're you sorry something? because you're not <laughs> right all the time. No right. matter if you're right. an adult or not. My son, when I say my son is a, a freaking genius, I really feel like he's too smart for the, for the school system. The school system now is not designed for you to succeed and be successful. Mm-hmm. It is it, when I think of the school system today now that I'm older, it's just like prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got the bullies. You got mm-hmm. we we learning about if you don't take the initiative, you're learning about bullshit that that you will never lose use in the real world. Mm-hmm. Period. And it's like my son, but he's way smarter than that. So me as a parent, I got to make the decision and do what it takes to put him in a different environment where he will mm-hmm. excel. Right. Because again, if you if you know better, what 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 sense does it make to know better and not do better? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because if you I knew see why better, people you put their kids, better. I see why mm-hmm. people put their kids in private schools or performing arts schools mm-hmm. because those are the schools that really challenge them. Those are the schools that's going to teach them about the real world. When my son asked me, like, "Am I going to learn about this?" and I have to be honest, I, I don't even know what that is, son, and I'm. I'm 31 years old. And that's true. Like, mm-hmm. you going to school all these years. They're not teaching you. They're teaching you math and what they feel like you're going to need in life. But half of that stuff you don't need in life. Like, you need to be teaching these kids in these schools about how to get their credit up, how to keep their credit going in. Listen, how to build credit. Exactly. By the time my that's son crazy. is 18, he they're will not. have an 800 plus credit score. No, for Because real. It, it, it makes no sense, again, for me to know what I know and not to set him up for success. Mm-hmm. My son is only uh, 15 years old and he worry about how to survive in the real world. He's mm-hmm. like, Mom, I'm in two years, I'm going to be 18 years old. The average kid isn't even thinking about that. Mm-hmm. But if you think about it, this world ain't even real no more. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not what we... Mm-hmm. Come on now, like, mm-hmm. phones, computers, all of that stuff. We never did that. We was outside playing and writing on the ground with chalk and finding mm-hmm. rocks wow, to skip and marbles and that's what make, And that's what makes today's society different from back then because we technology is advancing every single day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Every crazy. single day. Mm-hmm. And it's like our kids really don't stand a chance. And another reason why my son goes to school out of state, because Vegas school systems, even with Vegas alone, Sin City, like you got to understand the environment you're in. Yes, I was placed here to serve a purpose. However, my son don't have to be here with me because I know what comes with this type of lifestyle. Mm-hmm. The kids don't stand a chance here. It's a casino in every single, the grocery store, the gas station, mm-hmm. every single where. Everywhere so, and then we're rated like number two worst school systems yeah. in the world. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you have to, you got to want better for your, not only for yourself, but for your family. My son is the bloodline after me. Right. Mm-hmm. What the, What I do with him it's going to make a difference with the generation after him. Yeah, that's why so, with you, people people don't understand when you be like, 
I'm not doing what my mama did with me. I'm not fenced mm-hmm. to do half of the things. My kids will never see the struggle that I went through. My exactly. kids will never be without water. Lights will never have to eat a noodle. They like them. But it's we was forced to eat stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Potatoes and all of that and lights turn up. My pig, kids, pig feet. Pig, I like pig feet though, Monique. Uh, never <laughs> even when I ate meat never okay but like again it. like you said we were forced mm-hmm. yeah. to eat these things we had no other choice right survival yeah. mode mm-hmm. survival but once mode. you get out of survival mode and you really start thriving that's when life is that's when life just changes for you changes yes but but like you have to surround yourself with things that you want to be like. You cannot mm-hmm. stay, even family and friends. What was you saying? Family and friends, people think that they can't cut them off. Mm-hmm. Even though you know them for years at a time, some people mm-hmm. are not going where you are going and it's okay to they drop their ass off. It's, it's okay. For real. And like and, I always say, if I'm not, if you don't want me to go or if I'm toxic to you, cut me off because huh. I'm going to do the same thing. Huh. Like, Seriously. You know? Seriously. So at the end of the day, I feel like you have to surround yourself with people. You 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 get understood better when you surround yourself mm-hmm. with people like this. He got a business. We got mm-hmm. a business. You got your business going on. We can relate to things. We can help each other with things. You know what I'm saying? I can't go back to Lolo and all of them and try to... You can't help mm-hmm. me. What are you helping me with? And guess what? I don't want to be the smartest one in the room because if I am, I'm Seriously. not learning. Not Seriously. It does not matter what level you are on. Mm-hmm. It's so much to life. Seriously. It's so much to life that that we don't know and we just don't know it because we don't know. Mm -hmm. We can't fault our parents for it because they only taught us what they knew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah. And 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 I feel like you know, even even with like fostering kids and stuff like that, you mm-hmm. can still teach a kid. That's the that's the next generation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's your kid or not, you teach a kid. You let them know what's wrong or right. People are really comfortable of watching kids do weird stuff and mm-hmm. fighting each other and cussing yes. and all of that. See, yeah. I was the type that I couldn't fight my brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. My mama didn't play that at all. We cannot physically fight each other. That was mm-hmm. the biggest problem that I had with my last set. I'm was telling when you, they got to fighting, and it's just like. I I wasn't raised like that. Yeah, I, man. I, my mama will come in there and really throw <laughs> and them really up with us if we in there fighting. trying to fight each other. Mm-hmm. That was a no go. My mama said, "We all we got," but you, and she yeah. meant that. But if you pay attention to just the world, like you said, the world is changing. The world is not even real anymore. It irritates my soul when I when I'm watching a video on Facebook of people fighting. Mm-hmm. Somebody is recording that for sure. Somebody is letting. I seen a video the other day. This lady got stabbed. The man dragging her out the house, dropped her on the ground, and somebody is standing there recording it. Instead of you calling. This man said, well... Somebody already called the police. So he going to keep recording because he want to get them views. Me and Bree was watching something the other day where this man went in a, a restaurant and shot the mama and the daughter. And another mama was protecting her other baby. I watched that. You seen that? Mm -hmm. And and the lady said, the police said, well, it's crazy that somebody was recording and this is all over the internet and it's not. Y'all been picking up the phone or text 911. It's 20 people. It's 20 people in this. Ain't nobody going to rush them from behind or... Like what's going on? You guys are sitting on the floor phone, recording. We're, we're so distracted by our, this. This is why me, I would take a detox in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. In the morning, guess what? My phone isn't. My son is. So, my son, I love my son so much. When my son is home, my son. And when I'm sleep, my son take. He don't even want the phone next to me because he like this five G thing that they have. It affects the brain. Like he think like that. He's like, listen, Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have this phone in the room with you. When you wake up, your phone is going to be in the living room. Like he don't put it by him. He don't put it by me. He's that serious about, about it. I'm super. Hi, my name is Marley and I'm addicted to my phone. And I can't, I will be on both of my phones at the same time. I can't do this. Like, I have, have two phones. And, and, and that's it's... that's what it is. 2020, the new generation. Mm-hmm. Be, because for one, people are becoming billionaires off their cell phones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And are we in the room? For real. All of them is in the room. <laughs> like, 
Have y'all felt weird off the frequency? Like, if y'all been laying down and had your phone on your chest, do y'all feel some Come weird stuff? Here, yeah. Like, do y'all feel like weird stuff right I've, here? I've had, I've had, a, I've had both of my phones sitting at the top of my bed where I lay my head, uh -huh. and my head is hurting so bad. You remember when mm -hmm. I was telling you, like, B, we keep getting these headaches. We keep getting these headaches. The five G. Look up the five G. Look, look it I'm up. I'm testing my sh my um blood pressure. I'm like, okay, like, why do it's I got regular. a headache? Regular, mm -hmm. I know what's the up. Radiation. It's the and it's the our radiation, the radiation, always that's being. I'm telling you, I will be. This is around like Michael Jackson. It's so bad. I'll Dumb, be on listen. both of my phones on Facebook. <laughs> it, at it the is same time. It's scary. See, I, and I got it's one weird. of my phones. I got the laptop up with TikTok yes. on the laptop. I'm right here with it, and then I got my other phone. They know what they're videos. doing. I went to jail two years ago, <laughs> and I promise, whole I'm time in the holding tank, I'm grabbing for my phone. Because my phone is never yeah. out with like out of an arm's reach. So the whole time I was grabbing. And I'm like, oh, I don't have my That's phone. That's a topic for That's my sister weird. to get into for y'all. But I'm not gonna get into it, but I would definitely believe that it's real. Just from experience. I'm only 5G. I can only speak from yeah, 5G. Mm, it's sure. a real thing. Like I was having major headaches. Like, like you would think that I was having migraines, like really, really bad. Like, but the moment my son would be taking the phone, I thought like if I fall asleep and I'm I fall asleep on my phone, mm -hmm. my son knew to take it from me. He said, you don't need to sleep with this by mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. What's a perfect man for you? Um, I have to get on with these questions because um we ran out of time. Yeah, we ran out okay. of time. What's a perfect man for you? Starting with Brandon. Did y'all <laughs> think that I like men? Okay. Um, Wait, the hold perfect, on. The perfect. Well, y'all know I'm pan, so yeah. Um, there is no perfect for me. Is what's the perfect the mate perfect, for you? That's what we're gonna say. Mate, or yeah, the perfect mate is you have to make me feel good. You know what I mean? You can't see it. You can't feel. You know. You can't hear it. You can't Come touch it. You can only feel what yes. is perfect. It's a feel feeling. Me? It's a feeling. Yes. And that's why <laughs> it's certain things like. But when you know, you know. When you know, when you, you know, you know, and it's crazy. Even when they toxic in other situations, mm -hmm. like and it's just like you just do that to me. Why you do that? Why to are you me? talking to me? Why like you that? touching me like that? Why, why you looking you, at me ooh, like why that? Why you sound that? like that on the phone? <laughs> Please stop it! I See, can't take it. It's that. It's just like that demanding. I love. To submit. That's me. I I'm love very, a man that can naturally make me submit. Like, I'm submissive. Anything masculine, I submit. I'm, I submit to. Me too. So it's like... I love it. Listen, listen, listen. I love being that woman for my man. Exactly. Like... It, 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 I get pleasure out of pleasing you. Yeah. Yeah. It's the way you look at me and to talk to me and just the eye contact that can really put me there. You know what I'm saying? Like, just look at me a certain kind of way and then it's, Baby, it's that's crazy. Baby, talk nice to me, please. You don't even got to talk <laughs> nice. Talk nice. bad to me. me. Is gone, talk <laughs> bad to Show me. Show concern. <laughs> it's the concern. Look. Keep showing concern. Talk bad to me. I like that when you bad, talk bad to bad, me. Bad, nice. Hey, yo, she's toxic. You're going to have to I'm very toxic. Talk bad she to wants me. To be like, Baby, talk bad. Talk, talk bad. nice to me. It's whatever, don't talk, whatever don't you talk say, nice to me. Whatever you say, daddy. That. Shut up. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Brandon, like, a room full of toxicness. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, but I like that. I like to, like, I'm very submissive, but I also can be aggressive as well. But female. But you make me, you have to make me that way, though. You have to allow me to be submissive. I can't submit to somebody who can't be you got to tell me. Yeah. You have to tell me. You should tell me what to do. You got to tell, tell me, me what, what to do. do. But if you can't agree. tell me what to do, you can't, you can't tell, tell me what, what to do. do. No, it's... Um, shout out to Money for the Creed. But it's uh, Dior. Oh, baby, you smell good. You Listen. smell good, too. Yeah, I, I, I smell I something. I it must be the wine you... It's making you sexy as fuck. <laughs> listen, listen, my Baby, the man for me, <laughs> the man for me, he's gonna allow me to operate freely. Naturally, it's not even what he's gonna allow me to do. I'm gonna operate freely in my feminine energy. I'm a woman. I love to be 
a woman and I love for my man to be the man. I love for my man to take control of man. any situation. I love take for the lead. Listen, if I'm if I'm somewhere and I'm having an anxiety attack, I can call you and you can mm-hmm. calm me down. I need for you to say, you know what, baby, as soon as I'm getting out the shower, baby, let me let me rub you down with this oil. This oil, I already know how what it's gonna do to your skin. I need my man to just <laughs> understand me. I need my man to let me freely communicate with him and Dude. and and listen, <laughs> listen. And, <laughs> and, 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 and listen and, enough, enough at all. And, that. and listen to me. Mm-hmm. Let me say what I want to say, and you just let me say what I want to say, and then you come back and be like, "Baby, I see why you feel that way, but that's not the case. Mm-hmm. I love you. This is what it is." Mm-hmm. I feel you, Monique. This the dirt to the light. No, nah, but look, let me tell you something. See, the thing of it is, like, a, a man, a man gives me that. He brings me down, like you know, like where I feel like I don't Down have to, to my knees, baby. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. I don't. I never had that feeling. So <laughs> they put no. me on my feet. Like, are you about to steal from me? Because you know they turn on my masculine energy what? more. Really? So yeah, that'll you know, do it. I, that'll do it. <laughs> as soon as they walk in that house with them shoes on, that'll do it. You ain't got See, to worry uh-uh. about me. I love that. I love eye contact. Like you don't even gotta Ooh, say nothing baby. to me. Just look at me. Mm-hmm. And don't be with a little mad face. That'll get you. You can if I look at you and you already know what I'm thinking, yeah. you're my soulmate. You don't snatch my soul. Matter of fact, what give I'm me my is. heart back. Because... But the thing is, <laughs> this is this is why why I don't like like what Marley said. Talk to me, you know. You don't have to talk to me nice, pretty much, because we had this conversation before, and I don't like that some people don't understand the difference between dominance and aggression. You don't have to be aggressive to be dominant. You know what I mean? Because when you be aggressive, Speak. that's going to make me be aggressive. Yeah. Now we're going to be on whatever you rocking want, our baby. locks. Like, I'm you know, on whatever you want. I'm on what. Don't I'm on start whatever you want. Won't st- don't start no won't be nothing. <laughs> but I ain't talking about like yoked. You feel me? I'm talking about some, yeah, you heard what I said? Like, talk to me. Don't, like, I, I, I'm yeah. talking about don't equal, talk to me like listen, that. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about being equally yoked. I'm talking about, listen, tell me what to do. So if a dude mm-hmm. come in there like, so you didn't get what I was saying earlier, Monique. I told you to do this. Why I gotta tell you again? Depending on who he is, I might that just one, be like, that yeah, one. Why I gotta? Oh, I'm gonna be like, what? What did yeah. you say, Daddy? See? Yeah, exactly. Daddy, what you need me to do? I don't what you know. say? I'm gonna be like, who are you talking to, bro? <laughs> Marley, <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> we gonna be in there scratching Woo! the pickle uh, like this. <laughs> Woo! They act like it's so nothing cheating. like a man that can tell you what to do, baby. But he got to tell you what to do. He got to tell, tell you what, you to, what do. to do. He got to know what to do first. Right. I'm going to make it do it. It's just, naturally, it's just like, whatever you say, I, I, I trust you. If you, when you get a man like that, it's... Not some little boy. Not that want to live at home with his, with his mama. mama. You heard what I said. Make me over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> make me nice. <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm done, oh, I want to be right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm serious. Woo. I want to go places. I want to do some things. I want to be a star. <laughs> oh, I want to have a big name. <laughs> <laughs> like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> t- you got to tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. If you're going to tell me what to do. Mm. Take mm-hmm. the lead. Lead me. And I'm very submissive. I'm talking about submissive, submissive, like me too. Ch- chokers, chains, ch- everything. Oh, wake you back up, choke, choke you back, me out, wake you back pass up, pass out, mm. wake me back up. Yeah. I'm very submissive. I'm down with whatever. <laughs> when I'm in a when I'm in a committed relationship, <laughs> chokehold like this, Mm-mm. knock Ooh, me that, out. That chokehold. I'm telling you, yes, Monique, mm. yes. <laughs> that chokehold. Look at Brandon like okay. that to do it. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll definitely do it for me. <laughs> no, I'm telling you the truth. I, that's just what it is. Like submissive. You got to be submissive to your man, and he, uh, you know, every woman would love to be submissive, but it gotta you. You just gotta bring that out of her. Unfortunately, all can't be. 
Yeah, submissive. right, right. All can't be submissive. So I understand that. I really do understand that. But when you find that one that just that just do something to your Monique, soul. have you found that one that did something to your soul? Ooh. I think I have. Marley, have you? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I <clears throat> Baby, listen. I think I have. It's just different. Like, it again, it's a feeling. It's undeniable. Mm, yeah. Like, I've never had a man make me feel this way. Ever. Dang. Ever. Don't fight it. I'm never gonna right. fight it. I'm open to receive the love that I deserve. She's about to get married. She's not fighting it. Monique I'm not getting married. I am, right getting, now. I am getting, getting, getting married. married. I'm getting engaged this year, and by yeah. next year, we will be married. Okay. And Period. Oh, I was supposed to be married this year. Was you? Yeah. I'm getting I was married to get this married year. And um I'm getting engaged sometime this year. Sometime this year. I was supposed to. Get married for real, for real? Mm-hmm. That I'm was get, the plan last year. I'm getting engaged this year, you guys. Mark my words. What? I believe it. I'm getting engaged engaged this year. This yeah, is the, this is Just, the year that I'm I'll be engaged. Next year we're gonna get married. I already know the date and everything. Speak on it. Period. Speak on it. You gotta speak on it to make it happen. Manifestation. It's yeah. already done. In alignment. Hey. But see, my the problem with me is I had the date. I had everything set up for this year. But I just don't try. You know? Yeah. I don't well, feel like not? it's my time. I don't feel like it's my time. Well, well when is not it going to be I your time? I don't feel like it's my time today. What, what is it going to take you, for you to feel like it's your time? The right person. Because it'll then, feel right, you I'm saying. not a person who wants to, you know, go out and, like, of course I want to date. Of course I'm open to it. But at the same time, I'm not a person who goes and scout out you know, people. As I'm you not, shouldn't. As you shouldn't. No, I don't feel like it is not that important to me. It's important to me to, you know, move on with my life, but it's not that important to me. I don't feel like where you do should. you find them at? You where don't would I look. actually find them? You at? don't look. Right, exactly. This is the year I'm going to be engaged and I'm going to be happily <laughs> married next year, you guys. I can't wait. So let me ask you a question. Did you look for that person? Or I did, did not look. It? Thank you. It That's all love. I wanted you to say. Right. No, don't listen, look, it friend, f- ever. It I'm found, I'm Don't sorry. ever look. I don't even ever. have my glasses on. Don't. So it found me. It. It's going to find you. And it prayed for me. Well, I prayed Ooh. for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, 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 when God is involved, <laughs> yeah. again, everything is feeling, okay? Mm-hmm. Whether it's right or wrong, you're going to feel that. And I had, it's so funny. My girlfriend was like, girl, do you remember when you said the next man who think they're going to come in your life, they got to go through God to get to you. Mm -hmm. And this particular person was like, man, you don't even know two years ago. I prayed, like literally prayed to daddy. That's what they call God. And I prayed for you to come back into my life. And here you are. I cannot mess this up. Got the ball back in your court, so he trying to dribble it. He trying to make it. (laughs) I believe that, Monique. I believe. I mean, it's a feeling again. You can't deny it. Like you know, you when you know, you know. Even when it's imperfect, it's perfect. Like yeah, you can just see it. You know what I mean? Because you you can feel it. I've been around, and I know how people are. You can tell when somebody gets into a relationship. And you know, like, that relationship is going to go far. But and you know why you don't... Oh, go ahead, Monique. And sometimes things need to go left so everything can go right. Okay. Period. But you know why it's not good to look for a person in a relationship? Because most of the time, people are looking for you to use you. So, yeah. it's not... Right. They think that you looking is... You are willing to deal with anything. They, yeah. They feel like it's desperation. Desperate. You exactly. can meet all of their Ooh. expectations, but you got to be careful on who you bring into your foundation because that one person can make your foundation crumble, make Ooh. all kind of fires on, spark, me. and it's just, they leave. Let they- me say this. People need to <laughs> stop 
People need to stop idolizing people for what it look like on the outside mm, when mm. you don't know what that person is going mm, through, but mm. with that person behind the scenes. Right. Well, like I already said in a previous um, podcast, me and Bree had already spoke on. See, when it comes to people like me and Bree, they, I mean, me and B, they got us very totally messed up. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, they think because we're more bigger that we are more to take care of you. Like we mm -hmm. big, spend our money big. We're never spend our money big. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And people see us and they see dollar signs. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm Mm -hmm. And that's never the case because I promise you, these two take care of me and B is my witness. I'm very spoiled. I'm spoiled. It. You, right. you get me? I already know. I'm very spoiled. So I feel like if you ain't finna give me what they giving me, there's no room for you. You know what and I'm saying? And me too. Like if people get the wrong idea about me, they, they think because I offer them... Um, Del Taco Del Taco Or Shell Taco Not Del Taco for a night. Or a cigarette That I'm <laughs> willing I like to take care two. of them with, I'm willing to take care of them on the side. And, <laughs> No guac I don't do See I ain't even offer the guac Because that's extra You feel me but people Not mean, even I'm Del Taco You feel me people You Just the person that you are Brendan And I can say that As being somebody That's in your life People feel like Because you do go The extra mile for people That that's Take care of me stuff. And, and and that goes back to we're going to circle back to the fact that you have to be what you want. So if I'm like that as a friend, that's what I want as a friend. You feel mm -hmm. me? People take it the wrong way. Like, oh, he's just willing to do anything. Anything, Again, that goes back to taking your kindness for weakness. Kindness for a weakness. Because you're going to get a rude awakening with me. And now you're going to feel like after I I'm catch on. funny. But you, you, especially after I catch on. Exactly. And at the end of the day, people act like you they're they not being grown that you have to take care of them. You feel me? Even in a even in a a, a race a relationship, but people are more users than anything. Mm -hmm. Like people will really come lay on you, lay in your circumference, lay in your house, not pay where they lay. As being grown, you have to pay where you lay. Mm -hmm. 18 and older, you have to pay where you lay. Mm -hmm. And being in a group and being with us, it's not only like I can't make the decision or, or Brie can't make the decision. It's a group effort or Royal can't make the decision. When you come to us and you say you want some help, you feel what I'm saying? I know I'm off the record, but I think this needs to be talked about. When you come to us and you say you want some help, help is meaning you're going to help me help you. Mm -hmm. That part. Help <laughs> me help you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Not, guess what? I'm going to just help you and you're not going to do anything for me in return. Hello. After after you get to where you need to go, then you're going to go on about your Hello. business. That's not, with that's that not, hand, Hello. That's mm -hmm. not this type of party. Never will be. Yes. Hello. Yes. And then run to the next person because they feel like it's going to be easier, easier mm -hmm. to get in with a sad sob story. It don't work like that. So what I'm saying is y'all watch out for people like that because they are out here and they mm -hmm. lurking. They lurking for successful people that's going on Quit with their life. And, and they do, think that you And watch know. out for the people they that that you, they, don't they you don't know. Feel horrible yeah. about it. Make, make, right. Watch out for the people that bad. make you feel horrible, even though you know you put your uh -huh. all into it. Watch out for them people that try to belittle, mm -hmm. make you feel. I feel like if we make opened you feel our door. Lower. Make you feel unappreciated. Make mm -hmm. you feel like, can I get a thank you? It's insulting. You it, better, it you be better, you better, insulting. you better preach, Bree. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you this. People who want credit for where you are in life, huh? Red flag. Period. People who run to people for help and not willing to help the person help you, red flag for sure. You got to help somebody help you. Have like, you ever had somebody around you, right? Have y'all ever had somebody around you and they see that you're prospering on something, right? But they go back into their old life like, oh, well, that could have been me or I did this or I did that and I could have been red this flag. and I could have done that. Double red, red flag. flag. Double red flag. Run. <sighs> Speak. Red flag for me. Have anybody put you in a position and lied on your name, though? Lied on your name and said that you was in a place that you really wasn't trying to break down a friendship or a family ship with somebody else because they were in the wrong. You feel and, what I'm saying? And, they will lie on your name. They will throw your name under the bus and put it in a blender and try to eat it up. You feel what I'm saying? This next season of my life, listen... I'm not addressing because I know that I'm going to a new level. I'm 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 being called higher mm -hmm. and I know it's going to be a lot that come with that. And because of that, I'm not addressing any rumors. Whatever you hear about me, it's true mm -hmm. if you believe it. Mm -hmm. 
If, but see, it depends on who it is. I was bro. just finna say it that. It depends on who it, it depends is. on who it's coming from because certain situations that it came from is people that you would be like, I never thought, why would you do that? Like, what? why would you do why that? Why would you do that? Yeah. You had no reason to do that when everybody was giving you genuine love, mm-hmm. treating you like who you were. Mm-hmm. Everybody, True. even even my peoples was treating you ho- like who you really were. Half of the people attached themselves to you because of who you was to me. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Come on now. So it's like for you to step on my toes, then double back and step on their toes, that's big for you. Mm-hmm. Now you lost out on a lot of good people who genuinely loved you. That if you called out on us, we would have been there for you. But the thing is, people don't people don't understand that we we not know spring chickens anymore. We, we're in our 30s. So the, sh- the things that you thought you was going to do, I seen it coming through the door. What's been huh? making me so... I saw it before you even opened up your mouth. I felt, I felt it in my coming. spirit. Let me see. I felt it in my spirit. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> something, right, something, ba- uh-huh. something bad is about to happen. And it's coming because through the Because you was coming through the door. And I mm-hmm. said, oh, you know what? Look at the devil. He, done, he, huh. he thought he was going to come And you in. always watch at these. Let me tell you which ones to look at. The ones that sit in the cut and don't say much. And they watch. You watch them. Everything. They watching everything. 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 And guess what? When you get up to a certain level, they love to bring up the old you. They love uh, to bring up the things that, yes. that, that in, in a belittling way. Uh-huh. Like, I don't elevate it from that girl. I'm no longer her. Mm-hmm. Why you got to keep on bringing it up? Almost, almost like a photographic memory or even a video. For real. They, they like to have Something that they feel Bing like is bong. just gonna, right. <laughs> <they're> just gonna... <laughs> or those but type what? of people, or those type of people that get mad at you because your eyes is open, your season then opened up to your door. Oh, so people when don't like eyes, boundaries. Your eyes is open, so <laughs> when you're like, like this you're right like, now, you're Bri. like, no. Bri, no, I'm about to no. jump up out my and seat. And they're just like, because I you said had, no. I just had, like, in one week, wait. in one week, I didn't even go looking for it, but God wanted me to know you know, when somebody remove you and then they start popping up in your people, you may know. I'll be mm-hmm. like, damn, I thought we was friends. Yeah. Why are you so mad, sis? I had somebody get mad because I didn't invite them over for dinner. Oh, I thought we was friends. Everything is not about I you. I had somebody get mad because I asked them to leave my circumference. Why are you mad? Because I asked you to leave my circumference. And why are you mad and still sitting watching because... And why do I have to tell you? Because you a leave? fan. You, why you, do you, I have to tell you? <laughs> why <laughs> again? I told my friend the other day, like, girl, don't you ever stay at my house that long? For real, don't do it, please. Oh, yeah. I felt like I was wearing my welcome out yesterday. He was like, huh. I'm like, all oh, right, no, wait, let's no. go. Come on, we out of here. He tired. Oh no, she was up at four in the morning. Let's make Let the top tick. Like, girl, go to bed. <laughs> we gotta Excuse wrap me. this up. We gotta wrap this up in a few minutes. So. We Thank you all for having us on the show again. You can this follow me. This was beautiful. You can follow me on um, Instagram at b underscore u n three e's e e k. Be unique on Instagram. And you can follow me on Instagram, all platforms, all platforms. Uh, More hair St. Clair, M O R E H A I R underscore S T C L A I R. And you can follow me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the way you gripping the mic for me. <laughs> now, you can follow us, you guys, at all of our platforms, all social media. Google us. Royals Poly Life. Everything should pop up. We also um, have this podcast dropping. This is big for us. This is episode That's six. Amazing. Down for the crown. You feel me? Down for the crown. Y'all be down for the crown. Really come back. If y'all want to know something, y'all want to talk about things, Comment below. Comment below. Tell us what y'all want us to talk about in the next podcast, what you guys want us to bring up. If you guys want to be a guest on the show, inbox us. Get in our inbox. You guys can write us on um, royalspolylife at gmail.com. You guys can get here. If you can't come all the way to where we at, you can come via television. Mm -hmm. Y'all come and be a guest. We can really do this and make this thing big. I appreciate y'all. I have a challenge for you two, though. Since we are like, we're in it. I have a challenge for B. Um, I want to get some Nerf guns. Okay. Because I'm going on a more clean journey. Okay. And I want to do exciting um, 
task that I want to get out and do. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I want to get some Nerf guns and go to a park and set the camera up and Let's just do it. Let's do shoot it. each other Let's up. Do it. So- <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down. Okay. I'm down. So I really want to do that. And I really want to get... Um, I really want y'all to like really help me. It's really hard for me when I go through depression. Um, I go through depression. I fight depression when I go through things, you know, things. People think that because you are in a point of your life where you're elevating that you don't get sad, you don't get depressed, you don't go through things. But it gets harder when the the harder you you go, go, the harder harder it gets. So um, I go through depression and my way of fighting my depression is eating. So Mm -hmm. I really need y'all as my friends to really get on a real clean journey with me and help me out with that. I got you. Like, I'm serious. I want to work out. I really want to do something different, y'all. Like, I want to live. I don't want to, I don't want to, be remembered you as you don't want to just exist you want to really live I, I don't want to exist I want to live and you know Seriously. my line is open anytime I really want to do this and I really want to like we all come up with different things like fun things like that Nerf guns water balloons summer coming up we can when really... is that are you going to set a date right now or no, I want to hold you accountable to that oh hold me accountable boom <clears throat> let's do it April something okay yeah. second week of April second week no of... no no I'm third week of April let's do third week of April yeah, third week of April would be perfect. Okay. All right. All right. I'm down. And I'm also, down, down. I would like you guys back. I believe maybe for the next one, I have some very, very, very deep things that I want to talk about. Oh, that yeah. so. I, this was so fun to me mm-hmm. tonight. So I did not want to bring that type of energy. So it's a time and a place for everything. Mm. So I think that y'all will enjoy this next one. And I think you guys could give me the best advice possible. And, you know, we got to stay tuned. So basically you're saying you want their advice and input on how they feel about the situation you want to talk about. Yes, correct. Okay. Right. So is that an invite for next week? N- invite. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Thanks, it's, 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 it's Let's do it. Stay so y'all stay down for the crown and we out. Bye. Bye.